Obviously, everyone knows you did a ton of layoffs today. I don't want to fucking let anybody go, but Nate coming in and be like, well, do pay views not fucking matter? We're losing 12 million bucks. 12 million dollars! I have it. Nobody wants to fucking lay people off. They're fat and lazy out there. Truth's there. Would you have kept him and got rid of Smitty? One thing I will say, and this may be harsh and cold, I didn't know a lot of people got laid off. Yeah, I'm mad. I'm fucking mad. I will say we still have a shit ton of people here. Um, dog has been in Dave's office for feels like 10 minutes now and it's like nine minutes way too long. I can start to hear the voices raising a little bit. It's like, you just gotta get out of there. I don't know what they're talking about, but it can't be like, hey, how was your weekend? It's definitely like, I don't know, but it's just not good. Nate's gotta get out of there now. You can hear it in Dave's voice. His patience is running thinner and thinner and thinner as we go. I don't know. I don't know. Nate's running high. I, now they're starting to talk over each other and I'm starting to get nervous just sitting here. So I think I'm gonna just walk away. Seems like a lively combo. Just the big two chopping it up. Any bits or no? No, no bits today. Just straight business. Okay. Also, for people talking, I just want to say something. I think we don't have that many people here. But fucking Nate just came in and complained about a guy being let go. I don't want to fucking let anybody go. But Nate coming in and be like, well, do page views not fucking matter? We're losing 12 million bucks. So we're not going to lose productivity. It's going to stay up. And you guys are going to have to fucking pitch in. But I'm not going to have fucking Nate coming in and be like, oh. I guess page views don't matter and blogging don't matter. It fucking matters. We're losing $12 million a year. Wake the fuck up. Why, why do you think you're in a position to do that? You don't know what happened. It's a dude who's tried to not fire anybody over the years and now is basically being forced to. Listen, if everybody knew the full truth of what happened, it's a guy who could have just fucked off and let a lot of people go. So then don't go fucking bother, bother about one person, dude. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's gonna get ugly. But if you're, gonna, if you're gonna complain about every single person, it, it doesn't, you're not getting what I'm saying. It doesn't matter because there are circumstances to everything and it's all gonna suck. And telling him, you, know, you shouldn't have done that. It's like, well, I don't wanna do any of this. So don't do that again. I know. I thought I, thought I could ask a question. Oh, brother. Where have you been? I'm here. Well, you haven't because you missed 10 things already. So what have you been shooting? Shit around the office. Like what? Because I've been here the whole fucking morning just yelling at Nate when it's the first time I've seen you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, going back outside Dave's office. Any particular uh, reason? or? Uh, I think he was yelling at Nate. No one was filming. Oh, okay. And so he said, rearrange the whole office and make sure you're outside. We're just moving some shit around. No big deal. I don't know, care how the fuck you have to do it, but I want that table here so Austin knows what I'm doing shit. All right, move on. Suppose that, Dave, you want Austin moved? Well, yeah, because you had your head up your ass. I'm fucking, I've had five conversations today that I know that dead serious, but Nate comes in here whining about fucking firing a guy or letting someone go. It's like it would have been pretty good content in stool scenes. I, you're fucking taping, I don't know, Rico or fun, some shit in a show that's being recorded anyways. Austin's is there. He doesn't even know when people come to my office because we had fucking clowns set up this fucking office. So yeah, I'm mad. I'm fucking mad. Move yourself around. around, yeah. We gotta make sure that Dave's got his collar, which is fair. And I think it'll look better over there anyway. Well, well there in fucking Siberia. Like, he's like, well, our page views, I guess we just won't plug. No, you pick up the fucking slack. Nobody wants to fucking lay people off. They're fat and lazy out there. And there's emphasis on fucking fat. So, yes, we lose a guy. Other people have to pick up the slack. Because we're laying people off doesn't mean we fucking just are willing to do less guilt trip by fucking Nate. He was one of the good ones. Shut the fuck up, Nate. I'll fight you. Fine. You, we'll get rid of you. We'll save him. He can do your job and we'll save fucking a hundred grand. More. Fucking the dog. Less time preparing your speech. More time fucking, oh, well, what are we just not going to blog on the weekend? No, fucking blog. Fucking hate him. And then you'll know where to be found, and still seems to know where to be found. We're having this whole thing in the back of my head. It's like, this is good content about the real fucking business. Because Nate's a fucking dummy, baldy. All right, I guess we just won't do blogs now. No, Nate, we're still fucking blogging, you fucking fuck. You was one of the good ones. I, they're all fucking good ones. That's what layoffs are. They suck. Why, well, everyone who's getting laid off, Nate's going to come complain to me? 
Shut the fuck up, Nate. Like laying off people's fucking fun. He's one of the good ones. Shut the fuck up. Mm. Mm. He was hired today, wasn't he fucking hired today? I hate Vince. I know, he's the worst. He's one of the good ones. No shit! He's one of the good ones. You sure you want to lose him? Fuck you, Nate. Fuck Who was it? Matt Fitzgerald. Oh, come on. Never heard of him. Yeah, no, he's... Wait, 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 save it, save it, save it, save it. Oh, save it too much. That's I insane. Just, I guess we were just blogging, just Matt. That's insane. Mm. I guess we just won't blog in NFL this year. Mm. What do you want me to do? Here, we have to let people go. No, I don't want to. It's like laying off people is the worst. Mm -hmm. Then to have the dog come in, extra. be yeah. like, who's one of the good ones? That's what he said. He was one of the good ones. Who, like, who's not? Who, 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 yeah, right. Who are we going to so do? You, that's who's who's the the what the fuck do you want me to yeah. do? we got 5,000 people. No one else can step up and cover the fucking NFL because Matt Fitzgerald's gone. I didn't know who it was about, we, and I thought it was about. Dude, we were talking about it with him yesterday. We were like, how quick is the downfall yeah. going to happen? He was riding high for the performance so of the fucking award show, and here it is. I'm sure he's great, too, and he probably worked hard, but like, that's how it goes. Somebody has. We can't. Everyone's good. I don't want to get rid of anybody. All right, five, three, two, one. All right, it is Tuesday, August 29th. We are live from Barstool Radio, Barstool HQ. We are at a uh, grudgment, grudgment day level vibe, I would say. Well, the timing of it just happened. So I've been very clear. We are going to have layoffs and cuts, and they've started, and it sucks. And people who know me from the beginning, I hate firing people. You can be incompetent, not work, and I generally don't fire because I hate it so much. It's the worst thing to fucking do. Having said that, we're in a position, it, it's a no-brainer. It's not like I have that moral, well, you can't do it because nobody will have jobs. And um, we laid a guy off, Matt Fitzgerald. Sure, he's a great guy. I actually couldn't pick him out of a lineup, um, which hurts when we're going down, and I don't know who it is, but we're looking at that, whatever. So it sucks. I'm sure he's a great guy. Nobody wants to do it. Nate comes slinking in my office. Hey, you left, you, you fired one of the good ones. He's one of the good ones. It's like, what the fuck do you want me to do? And he's like, so this just means, I, he blogs all, he's like, we just don't care about the blog. I guess we won't blog the NFL anymore. No. We're still going to fucking blog the NFL, you fucking rat fuck. People have to step the fuck up. I don't want to lay anybody off, but the last thing I want to do is when we have to, is have Nate be like, eh, you ruined his life. He's one of the good Did ones. Did say that? No, he didn't say okay. that. Okay. <laughs> he did say, he's one of the good ones. We just won't blog on the weekends. Like, what did you want me to do? Yeah, you, what do you want me to do? He's one of the good ones. I guess well, we don't care about the blog anymore. No, we fucking care. It's your job. We have a million people. Someone else. Hey, cover on the weekends. Matt Fitzgerald's gone. We can't cover the NFL anymore. Now, when I, I said to him exactly everything you said about, like, listen, Dave doesn't want to do this, and the last thing he needs is somebody. Nate! Pilot, right. But then Nate, you, Nate kept saying to me, that's not what happened. You don't know the circumstances. You don't know the details. I'm like, what, 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 what are the details? Then? I just didn't want to talk to Kevin out loud about it. But what are the details that make it so different? He said he just didn't want to talk about loud. He says hi on page views, which I get, but there's like, I asked him, and again, Matt Fitzgerald, I don't mean, I'm like, well, was he this spectacular? Was he KB or like some great writer? He's like, no, he just worked hard, which is great, but they've moved Austin to fucking Siberia, so he has no idea when people are coming in and out of my office. Right. I don't know what Bubba was. He was fucking, I'm like, what are you, I'm like, Liam, Liam I'm like, what the fuck have you been filming all day? Fucking Rico on something that's already being filmed? What is going on? You pointed, there was like, where the camera and the TV were. You said, I want Austin's desk right here, and I grabbed TGA and I said, move those right I went now. upstairs. I said, I, I said, we'll do the fucking show from the corner with a phone if we have to today. Move this shit and put it desk there because right now <laughs> I knew the conversation with me and Nate people would love and Austin's pretty good at usually what but he they they have him now on the other side of the fucking office so right. he doesn't know when things are happening right. there was no school <laughs> so scene now he's just on a, <laughs> it's just this one desk that's great little tiny desk like people don't understand the business side of it and how much uh you know how much you take on and how much yes to do like and I, I, got a, I caught a glimpse of it over the last few weeks where it's like, if people knew, if people knew everything, 
I don't think anybody would ever fucking say peep. You find no, I mean, Do you get it at all, Nate? You're just sitting over there. Do you get why I got mad? Yes. Like, who wants to hear laying off is the worst? The, like, first guy. He's a good guy. Why'd you have to? He's a good one. He's one of the good ones. He's like, shut the fuck up. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he's great. Do you not feel empowered to be like, hey, you? I have no power to do that. Why? <laughs> Why don't? Can you come on and talk so we can figure this out? Yeah, no, I've never been given the power <laughs> to tell people you have to do this or you have to work nights or you have to work. Like, never been given that power. Take it. What would you have done if it was uh, somebody we all knew? I mean, like, if that was, I, if you went I, to that for Matt, you would, would, like, would, would Let me ask you honestly, gun to head, truth serum. Would you have kept him and got rid of Smitty? No. So then, then you see my situation that I'm stuck. I, I, that you just answered. It was a question that Smitty's the I one wish. who should, like, honestly, have to look himself in the mirror and be like, "Damn, we love, we love they're Smitty. keeping me, That's on my but hand. they're getting rid of people who yeah. work hard." Smitty killed <laughs> Matt Fitzgerald. Multiple Matt Fitzgeralds have to be killed to protect. Smitty. It's not even, it's not, I wish it was a joke. Like, I've looked at that name a hundred times, big like, damn, it would be nice to free that up and save some other, but it's like, dude's been here for fucking ever. Glad we had the talk. It pounded up. We were wondering when you were gonna. <laughs> <laughs> he gets under my skin a lot. It's like, he's one of the things. <laughs> the last thing, it's like, sucks. This sucks having to let people go. Whenever Nate has a good moment, we were all giving him props because we thought his roast was funny. That roast was funny. And we, we said, <laughs> we flat out said to him, anytime you have a good moment within like 24 hours, you overplay your hand, you do something stupid, and you ruin it. And I mean, this is the best one of all time. <laughs> and I, no, I still don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to be quiet. All things considered, got a couple of fist bumps in. I think that was a productive conversation <laughs> that needed to be had. Now we get back to work. About the most predictable thing that's ever happened in the history of mankind, uh, like Trent said, I think we were all watching this just like watching the ticker on a bomb go off. And it went off, and Nate escaped somehow unscathed, which is maybe the most, the biggest miracle of this whole thing. He was over there when we were there, and I watched you go in there, and I was like, that's a mistake. That's a bad and, and idea. And he was in there for three minutes, Bro, five, five minutes. minutes. And I was like, I literally walked out. I was like, the I'm first out. thing I said when he walked in, I said, what are you doing? Like, why do you think that? And he goes, you don't know, you don't know the circumstances. Well, I, wanna... I don't care what the circumstances are. You should not have done that. Look, the conversation had to be had. We all ended up better for it. <laughs> Thank you, Nate. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking psycho. Nate, <laughs> holding up the company as always. <laughs> <laughs> had a wonderful morning with the boss being on a fucking warpath because you had to go. Hey. When I found out, I thought twelve million dollars. I, I thought, it was I thought the person that was going to be fired was going to be someone that was going to like crush my soul. You just it, died, jumped on the grenade for Matt Fisher. It was about You're insane. We're talking future of the blog. I watched him go in your office. I was yeah. like, that's a mistake. It's Dave and the dog. What a look at once. Dave and the dog. This is what we want to make revenue. We'll sell Dave and the dog. <laughs> What do we want to do? I guess we don't care about the NFL anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give you a list of people that you consider robots. Robot, 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 and rotate them. And you, when they assign, so somebody has to one one Sunday no, every two it, months it, to cover the I'm NFL, saying, we can uh, probably make that out. It's good to have the uh, go ahead to be able to assign Yeah, so people. just tell yeah. me who we have a bunch of people who can fill in one Sunday every couple months yeah, and no, rotate sure. around. Yes. And we're good. Where are we at with Dave and the dog? He gets under my skin probably more than anybody I've ever had at this company. He infuriates me. So no, there'll be no Dave and the dog. He's, he manages to get under my skin. But I, I just, I didn't see it. I saw Rico's face walking out after I called him a robot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his face while walking away after being called a robot. He knows it. He knows it. <laughs> oh, Rico. I'd have to go back and look at the tape, but I don't know if I got named a robot. I did? No, I, I think this will be good in the long run. Like, it's always nice when Dave gets on people to block. Like, that's always a good thing. I think we're gonna we're not going to have a problem blocking football. College football, a little harder, but we'll get there. NFL, I think we'll be, we're going to be in really good shape. Not that, like, sound weird, but, like, I don't know. When I was fucking in college, like, I would kill to work for this website. Like, it's cool, like, have your stuff published and blocked. So... Hopefully more of that. You never know when the worm is gonna <laughs> fucking worm his way into the office. He actually came over about 15 minutes early. He goes, I'm thinking today we're gonna run a little Nate and Dave bits. Like, <laughs> and so we walked over, like, oh, Nate's gonna do some bits. Now he did not do some bits. No, he didn't do some bits. It was not a buffet of bits. <laughs> 324, have a good day, Dave.
I saw him on the internet this morning saying some fat blogger they had to let someone go and someone has to pick the slack up. Was he talking about me? Or do I have to pick the slack up? I don't have the time. I'm, 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 over, I'm over, over, overworked as it is. <laughs> Dave's doing layoffs, so we're stepping our pussies up now. We're creating our very own wig wall to boost team morale. Well, the thing is, if for some reason we do get laid off, these will actually double make it hold body weight. So they're, they're gonna drag me out of here by my dead body and finish my draft. All right, it is Wednesday, August 30th. Barstool Radio coming to you live from Barstool, New York. We got a little situation on our hands that arose. It all stems from yesterday. I thought to, to wrap up everything yesterday from layoff gate with Dave and Nate and Matt Fitzgerald, I wanted to hear from Matt Fitzgerald. I, I then texted him and I was like, I want you to come on the show. So I said, if you wanted to come on radio tomorrow to make some compelling content and get your name and personality out there some more, I think that would be a good idea for you. But I also understand if you don't want that, so let me know. Matt took that to mean in person. I meant come on radio like, I, sh I guess I should have said call. Matt, who works remote, was like, oh, I thought I'm coming in person. And I don't know where he came from. He, Dude, he lives in Hoboken. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Why wasn't he Why just was coming he in remote? all the time? Yeah. <laughs> now I don't feel... <laughs> right? Even, like, yeah. I he found that out. remote in Hoboken? What the fuck? No wonder he got fired, <laughs> right? Matt. You can see his apartment from outside the window. I thought the whole thing was that he was a robot from Ohio that was just like, me write blogs. I, and it's like, you could have just been here and been in the mix, and you chose not to. Yeah, look, at it. it says right there on his Twitter. I don't know where this Ohio thing came from. <laughs> Did I just make that up? Oh, Come on down, <laughs> Matt Fitzgerald. Nice to meet you, man. How are you, how you doing, What's man? Good to see you. So, yeah, nice to meet you, yeah. bro. For some reason, there was a thought that you are from Ohio. Is that is there any anything to that? I grew up in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. Okay. Uh, have you, uh, I cover the Bengals a lot. Were you ever working from home in Ohio? Uh, no, not uh, so that well, was just, my first job at Bleacher Report, yeah, but right, <laughs> that right. was so years Bar ago. So, Barcelona, yeah. you've been here, but you always just work remote. Yeah, and uh, I was told by Nate and Hubs, who I like mainly report to, that it didn't have any sort of effect on my job status. And oh my um, god, the plot just thickened. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was a little heartbroken. Like it was kind of blindsided. Like right before football season, you figure like, okay, if anything's gonna happen. happen. But it, it was just the circumstance, like you said, with Dave getting the company back. He says he's like loyal to a fault with some people, and I, I think that's great in a lot of ways and but it's just you know when you're looking to make cuts who, who are you gonna look for like somebody who's a lot newer i don't know if it really mattered how hard i worked or or what i did it just uh, your numbers were good so that yeah, yeah. it's not a matter of that it's a matter of timing and just money and it's just mm -hmm. shitty the way it goes <laughs> if i was dave i wouldn't want to watch this at all because you seem like a unbelievably nice guy so i know he's <laughs> he stresses about that i, I wish you were here and you were a fucking piece of shit i really do <laughs> i really wish you were an asshole it's making it a thousand times harder no, and no. i'm regretting all of this right now <laughs> this goes down in history as one of the weirder you know quirkier barstool moments but um We'll see what happens, man. Matt was a top five page views blogger on Barstool Sports. So uh, anybody who is in, in the position to be hiring and wants a good writer would be lucky to have him. So thanks for taking it in stride. And uh, we'll see you in the future, bro. Yeah, it's been a wild two days. I'm glad I got to go on the show and kind of say my piece, I guess, and, and meet some more of the guys. And I mean, it's just, a, it's just a cool way to go. I don't know what the future holds, but obviously do it over again, come to the office more. But, <laughs> you know, I don't know if that would have had that much bearing on what the bottom line decision was. And to Nate, I didn't mean to just like put that comment on blast uh, and, and single that out because like they said, he did go to bat for me and really enjoyed working with Hubs too and Clem and the editorial staff and all the, like I said, all the content people, guys and gals, just everybody's super, super kind and best job I've ever had. So we'll see what happens in the future and I'm really excited for what's next. So. Okay, uh, here we go, company meeting. Obviously, everyone knows we did a ton of layoffs today. The harsh reality of it is, I think we're back to like my world a little bit. And when I say my world, I mean like what Barstool has been for the majority of Barstool. Like words like process and forecast and pipeline and I get rid of all that. And I still think really, it's a great spot to work. Laying off people is the absolute like worst, 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 worst thing in the world. And now we're back, I think, on really solid footing on where we have to be and still a great place to work. This is going to be a content house in uh, sales. If you have questions for content, content for sales, whatever, just talk to each other. One thing I will say, and this may be harsh and cold, 
I didn't know a lot of people got laid off. Like I couldn't have picked them out of a lineup. And granted, I wasn't here all the time, but it's really, really much harder to lay somebody off when you know who they are. And the moral of that story is, I don't care if upstairs, downstairs, like meet people, like work with them, be like, this is now, should be kind of like a family thing where everyone knows each other. And that's just like personal advice for anybody. Like we were so segregated at it, it, it Barstool, we didn't even know who each other was. Um, so we're down to, I don't know, 300 people. So I still think it's a great, great spot. I have not changed at all in terms of like Barstool being the best thing that happened is me getting the company back. But the facts of the matter is if we didn't make the changes, none of us in this room would have had jobs in a year or two. It just couldn't have worked. And now I think, you know, we're pretty well set for the future. I want this to be an awesome place to work where everyone's getting paid well, happy to go to work. Obviously today sucks, but I knew this was happening before the deal was done. Um, not the exact numbers, but we looked at it. It's like, all right, I'm taking the company back. Um, you know, I've worked for 20 years. I was going to lose it all in 10 seconds. So I think we're in a good spot now. There's a lot that has changed, you know, obviously in the last three weeks. I think it's a really good thing to get back to a leaner, more focused company. The expectation isn't going to be that we were doing what we did last week with half the people. Like that's not the expectation. So I just want people to be sure they understand that. One of the things that happened over the last two years is everybody got a lot of resources that today no longer exist. And I think it is a good thing because it gets us back in touch with what we are doing. But again, the goal is to make this a very fun, cool, happy place to be. This we knew was coming. Like it was going to be a month, two months of a little bit of turbulence. And I think we did it faster, just kind of cut the cord and get it over with. Um, but again, unfortunately, we knew it was coming. This round of layoffs had to happen because just the physical nature of where we are. But Barstool is still like, if we see great talent, we still want to hire them. Like we're not, our goal is not just to retrench and disappear. We want to be around forever. I it's a reset. It sucks. It's going to feel like shit for two days. I think there, it's totally appropriate to be sad or angry or to mourn people who aren't here. Like, I get that. Like, this is eating, you know, this has been a lot to go through, but it's for the right reasons. And Barstool has a great future ahead of it. If anybody has questions, we're here, obviously. That's why I'm in the office today. Dan, Kevin, Erica, whoever. Um, but yeah, things will break. Just get through it. Yeah, embrace it's not that. the end of the world. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, it's a million dollars a month. It's right not going to be Matt Fitzgerald only. No. Well, like it is true what I said. I didn't know 99% of people that, which makes it a lot easier not to be, but if you don't know the person, like that guy, Dan Berenson, just walked in. He's still here. He's, I've never met. He's been here for four and a half years. Four and a half years. He was here before Penn. He's what like, he, I never met him. What does he do? He does commerce and like college, he said. Nice enough guy. Yeah, four and a half years, never met. Well, what's unknown is the, the misfit, the Isle of Misfits over here, no one got laid off, like, honestly. Like, no, it's definitely sad. I'm sure people are gonna articulate it far better than we will. We're very lucky to still be here. It was good. Um, just a tough day. Dave said it was necessary, so, and he was right. Kind of got a, they call it a reset at the beginning, which I agree with. Kind of back to the things, way things were, as opposed to being a funnel for a gambling company. Now we're a content company again. Which which is good news for guys like us. Yeah. By the way, you kind of let Cuban off the mat with Kyrie. I know. I was a pussy. I wish you called me. I was a pussy about a couple things. I wish you called me during that Kyrie part. You think you're good? I'm citing a moment from your podcast <laughs> that is within the episode. <laughs> is more than I. <laughs> that moment in game night was funny. I did get a tweet. I got a tweet, but I think it was ironic. I'm happy with it's the It's a very, I it's a very funny down. Francis yeah. Ellis. It's like the best compliment he's ever given. Balls. So I have my fantasy draft. Yeah. I, at two, I have this film called Football Strike. If I don't think my draft's even done, so can you? Take Absolutely. over at the end. Absolutely. All right. Just tell them where to go. Good blog the other day. Very fun. I appreciate that. It was very fun. If you need help, Thank balls, you. I'll help you. Yeah. 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 Right. We're going back. Out on the main <laughs> blog, by the way. What's that? Yeah. It did. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. Fucking buzzing. Does have a boner right here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. Jefferson, maybe? 
Who? Jefferson. I don't like it. No, I agree. He's going to go one, though. No, I hope he goes one. Then I'll take McCaffrey. Yeah. I, think, I, I think McCaffrey's McCaffrey going one. Yeah. I bet McCaffrey goes one. Yeah. Then, I'm, I, then I don't know. I, it's either Chase, Justin Jefferson. And I kind of like Tyreek Hill. If you go running back round one, you should go wide receivers <laughs> around round two and three. And then quarterback round four. You want to do hero RB strategy. Well, well, if he goes McCaffrey one, yeah. I have the second pick. Who the fuck? You can't well, take. Well, then you can take wide receiver, then you go chase, and then you go two running backs round two and three. Yeah. You don't want to, like, double up on It's capped off. I'm like, just like, offering fancy we, advice. Like, I'm a champion. Jeff Lowe is, uh, has, like, one going. And then Jeff Lowe's had one going for like 20 years. So why? Uh, new one? Uh, I have one. Ten, ten, half an hour. I had Tommy's last night. We made the seventh pick. Um, you um, helped? Second pick. Is it PPR? Oh, Jefferson. I don't like Jefferson. <laughs> PPR machine. Who? Well, the number two overall pick, you take him? I hate Jefferson. I would go, I would go Chase or Tyreek. Um, really it seems like the consensus top four is Eckler, McCaffrey, Chase, and Jefferson. I hate Eckler this year so much. I think he's going to get hurt. Yes, but he's due to get hurt. How do you not have a, a best available? No, you have your big board, you have your best available. Every, it's like impossible not to have that list. I can't yeah. take you seriously. Christian, Christian McCaffrey, Justin Jefferson, Tyreek Hill. All right, don't do it that way. That does me no good. I, like, don't give me the top four, you fucking idiot. It's for the, get him off, get him away, get him away. I can't deal with that. How does he, 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 this is his yeah. livelihood. This is all he cares about. He doesn't have, he doesn't have a also. best available list. He has it just by position, but not best available. It's literally insanity. And you can literally print out anyone else's and just claim it as your own. Like, he could just lie to you. Well, no. I mean, he takes it seriously. He does <laughs> his own work. But how do you not have yeah. your own... Look at this <laughs> fucking <laughs> idiot. The brick watch? I do like it. You don't deserve to wear it. Why do you have... <laughs> I, is, is that Schefter's background? Get up. No, what really up, good. boy? Jay, looking sharp, my man. There he is. How we doing, buddy? Jail advice. Tough day for the company. Uh, last night, uh, the news broke uh, on the Post and a couple other outlets wrote about it. And today is the day. Uh, we've been talking about it for a couple weeks now. Um, it shouldn't really come as a surprise to people, but it still is a tough day uh, when, when, when you put it into motion. So uh, the layoffs were the layoffs occurred today um, and if you were paying attention and listening you know Dave was very upfront we were losing millions of dollars a year million dollars a month and uh, that is not easy to make up so if you're gonna try to continue to run this company and and make it uh, break even and keep the other jobs you got to make a lot of moves um, hey Dave I'm in and out. Yeah. In and out. I, I, I got my fantasy draft that was planned. With You're a fantasy all, guy? It, it's like, really. yeah, it's like yeah. Trout. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, Che, does uh, commission. Yeah, he's the commish getting yelled at, but it's like Machado, like, <laughs> uh, Riamulto. It's like uh, MLB All-Star. Is this the Tommy Fan League? Yes, yeah. that I got in after the slap. Yeah. So. Who Andrew Marchin broke this last night? Like, yeah, I, I, yeah. Who, like who? It the had post, to be. Yeah. So is that yeah. like, is that like a leak or is? Yeah, that, it had to be a leak, but it came out pretty quick. It was everywhere. I, I, I didn't realize it was like pretty dead on. But somebody told him it was happening now. Right. We didn't know it was happening that until so, yeah, it was like. Was it, it not was, planned until last night? No, we knew it was happening, but we moved it's it up. Originally it was like. Be... I think we're gonna do it next, next week, September. 7th. That's what I mean. Was it was it done? September seventh, right? Last night. Originally, it was gonna be September seventh, and then I think the thought was like, we already know, everyone knows, we're yeah, talking right. about it's it, just, like yeah. do it before Labor Day, all that stuff. So, you know, it's easier. And it to sucks. Mandate off. But uh, again, I don't laying off people is never good. You never want to do it. Am I coming up? Two minutes. Getting, I'll keep coming back and forth. My picks gone. Getting this break even, sustainable, and then going back to not being as involved. Like, I'm not Got giving it. up my life. I've been doing it for 20 years. Right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> Fantasy pick? Yeah. How are you going to know like, who's off the board and they, everything? They, like, they I know, but you got to th <laughs> this, this is. Could be a good one. Two minutes, I 
Alright, Trout's up, Dave. You're on deck. Couple quarterbacks went. Lamar and Jackson went. Who else Joe Burrow and Justin Fields. I had Listen, two big I this is, like I've never seen Dave run. Oh I haven't seen Dave run since the combine. Dave That's crazy. Doesn't run anymore. Dave plods. <laughs> He's in high on the day. Great, thank you. The whole office is raving about my McCaffrey pick. <laughs> who took off? Who took Fields? Uh, Manny. Manny, like two picks ago. Okay, I know where I'm going. Hopefully, he's still there. Let's see if I got a stick. Dave is up. I'm Darren Waller. I'm up. You are up. This is going to be kind of a shocking pick for people. Yeah, I'm multitasking. We laid off 100 people. I'm on fucking radio. I'm drafting. Fucking Moose gets the thing moved back for his birthday. I'm laying, but lives are in danger here, and I'm doing this thing. That's, that's on me. My daughter, my daughter appreciates it though. So thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, stretch. Special. Yeah, it's a stretch. I fucking, I'm getting calls. Hey, I don't have my job. Sorry, I gotta do this fucking draft. <laughs> Dave's panicking. He's out. I'm not no, fucking yeah. panicking. It's got. I gotta go. I'm doing radio. I'm doing nine things. I, my pick was supposed to be fucking Fields, to be honest. We're back in charge. We're back in charge over there, guys. Doing it all. Yeah, it's fucking no vacation. There's no day at the beach here. <laughs> here Trying to salvage some files. Yeah, we're deep in it. I don't recognize any of these file types. I gotta unzip it again. Where is this shit? And it's off to zip. Here it is. I'll unzip it, I guess, again. Well, I wanted just to stop doing this. It's not in there. Uh, go back, go back, go back. So someone was compressing. Yeah, yeah, they, they totally kept doing, and it was only making things worse. I think. Is there any cord to plug this straight into here? It's Apple. There's a no, definitely no cords. This really is like gaslighting me. <laughs> I mean, why are you recording as MTS? What is MTS anyway? Why is it doing this? Oh, here they are. I think. Nope, that's not them. Testing. Testing. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs to get rid of some old files so that. We probably need them. No, Frank, this is good. We made. We fought, We solved it. We solved it. <laughs> You just need, you just don't have enough I've been telling them to stop working on it for 20 minutes because you're making it worse and they just need it worse. We fixed it. You just have to clear your space in general. You're in a much better position now. When your hard drive's full, you gotta, you gotta clear some space. But we have all the files. We just, and they go into iMovie. They said if you had Apple. No, no, we got it. That's all the evidence. That's all the evidence.